When asked why we use the expensive couplers for the junior, this is exactly the reason that we do. Um, unlike the urethane style ones that are on the machine as a standard, these are two pieces of steel that actually sandwich rubber bushings inside here and hold them tight and then it's riveted in four places so that when this runs over stuff that's a little more than what the grinder can handle, it can flex with that and not break. Um, certainly they can be damaged and they can be overused and eventually fail, but much longer lasting than the urethane donuts as we call them that normally come with the Chinese machines. This is a coupler that's made by Morse, actually made in Taiwan, but fantastic product. It's the same exact uh, quality of product we use on all the big machines. The only difference is it's a 502, which means the durometer or the pressure on the rubber is a little bit less for the lighter machine. So it can flex with the floor better than a more stiff coupler. But that's why the machine is able to hit stuff like this and not damage itself. If we hit it enough or hard enough, we certainly can damage these. But for the most part, these are good for without hitting too many obstacles in the floor, well over 100,000 feet. So they're really not that expensive when it comes to the reliability, the fact that when they get hot, they have no memory and also the fact that they can take quite a beating before they'll actually start to fail. If you like what you've seen, please drop us a like below. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to comment below as well. We appreciate it. Thank you.